And we have a countdown. Attention, go. And a start. Once again, Princeton furthest from the camera. Georgetown in the middle. Syracuse closest to the camera, furthest from the finishing shore. It looks like Georgetown's popped out to an early lead over Princeton and Syracuse. And Syracuse maybe a half a seat over Princeton. So these guys uh, get further into the start and settle down to their base cadence. We'll see how this these margins settle out. We have Syracuse on the charge, taking some seats in the second half of their high stroke push with their Hudson Hammerhead 8 pushing their bow in front. You can tell on the cameras we go through these red buoys and you can get a sense of the margin. 250 in, we have Syracuse up by maybe a half a deck over Georgetown. Georgetown a deck over Princeton. The Princeton guys look to be rowing a bit lower than Georgetown and Syracuse, a little more controlled. Syracuse a bit higher still. Taking advantage of that early start for Syracuse, they're still popping their bow out a little further in front. Georgetown has yielded the lead to Syracuse, but still trailed or still is ahead of Princeton. If we come through the 500, it will be Syracuse in front. In a time of 122, pretty fast for this time of the year. Shows a little bit of what this tailwind can do for these guys. Syracuse still eking out a little bit further with Princeton level with Georgetown. Princeton seems to be on a press, but Georgetown now responding. And Georgetown and Princeton, I can't call it between them, they look pretty dead even. Both about a third of a length back on Syracuse, your leader, here uh, 650 meters into this race. Oh, and it looks like Princeton has taken a powerful move. They've pushed out a deck, in ahead, a deck ahead just as I turned to look down the race course. They're a third of a length up over Georgetown, drawing even with Syracuse. Coming into 750 now, it's going to be Princeton ahead. Princeton by a foot over Syracuse. And Tigers on the move. Very powerful move there by the Princeton Varsity 8 stroke by Barney Crotty. Princeton's uh, about level with Syracuse. Syracuse responding with a little lower cadence move. Princeton uh, popped it up a few beats for that move, but have settled back down to a more reasonable base cadence. These guys are going to go together. They seem to be trying to drop Georgetown from the race. Georgetown just barely hanging on to contact with Syracuse. Princeton has broken away from Georgetown. They are a seat or two ahead of Syracuse. Coming into the 1,000, it will be Princeton varsity ahead of Syracuse, going through at a time of 2.49. Tigers still walking. Tigers on the march. Syracuse calling for a move here. Through the 1,000, we still have a light tailwind helping these guys out as we go down the course into the third quarter. It is Princeton. A length and a seat over Georgetown, about a quarter to a third of a length over Syracuse. Tigers in control. We've got Coxon on two seat. Georgetown has recovered a few of their seats to Syracuse, but Princeton still seems to be well in control of this race. As we go to 7.50 to go, it is the Tigers in front by two thirds of a length. Don't really seem to be any moves coming from the Tigers in this quarter of the race of just really taking advantage of a stronger base speed. I'd say their cadence has popped up a bit since that first quarter when they settled to a very controlled uh, low 30s cadence. Now in the third quarter, Tigers are walking away from Syracuse, about to break open water. They are bow ball to Stern, Tigers over the Orangemen. Very long, very controlled out of the Tigers. Syracuse also pretty controlled, but blade work starting to come a little bit unhinged. Coming into the last quarter, last 500, it is the Tigers, open water, maybe just by a foot or two, coming through in a time of 417. Syracuse a few seconds behind, Georgetown across right now. Tigers in control here, last 500. Tigers taking the cadence up. Get a few more seats of open water to, get, to gain a little more comfort in this margin of open water. Georgetown is actually chasing down Syracuse a bit. I think Syracuse will stay in control of Georgetown. Georgetown is closing. It's 
uh, half length open between Syracuse and Princeton as Princeton draws up to 250 to go. This uh, tailwind has become more of a crosswind in this open water last 500. So tailwind for the first mile, then into a light crosswind as we come into 250 to go. Here we've got Tigers up by a length and three quarters in control with 200 to go. Syracuse by about a half length over Georgetown as all crews are starting to build cadence for their final sprint. Princeton in control, they will take this race, their home opener. Syracuse half length over Georgetown, Syracuse about two lengths behind Princeton. 